We'll have all these articles up on teamnerd.tech. This is episode number 62 if you want to look all this stuff up. Well, this the this article is from the New Scientist website. What interesting website. Um, and I, I think I like it. Uh, it's a little bit addy sometimes. By that, I mean ads uh, and pushing certain things. But actually, it's a good site for current science, not deep science. Not This isn't Scientific American, but it's it's got neat stuff. And in this particular one, it's not so much a study as it is a, 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 as a product. Uh, there's a California uh, company that does a brain implant called Neuropace. And this brain implant is one of those things they're working on to try to give people who are, are paralyzed at some level uh, control of their limbs. And they've been working on this kind of stuff for a long time. To where people can, uh, if, they're, if their arms are, or their hands or whatever it might be, aren't, are paralyzed, not receiving stuff from the brain that maybe these implants can help them uh, regenerate some movement. Yeah, and this is cool. It says the implants here, this is a part from the article. It says the implants allow the volunteers to move a cursor on the screen just by thinking about it. Right. That's some cool new science stuff. Yeah, it really is. And yeah, this has been a long time. Uh, Stephen Hawking was part of some of these. Of course, he had ALS. Christopher Reeve was part of a lot of this. And through one of these, they were able to do some testing that that actually happened to bring together about how when we sleep, one of the things that does happen is we 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 coalesce in our brain what happened during the day. Now, that might seem logical that, that that's what we do, but we didn't actually have scientific research that proved that. They'd seen that in animals, but they hadn't really been able to show it in humans. And this this particular study with this device did show that. So when you're sleeping, as you go through your dreams, you're thinking, you're, you're sorting through, your brain is filing and and putting together all these different things you might have done during the day and what they might mean to you, what they might mean moving forward, your brain's actually doing that while you're sleeping. One more thing about how important sleep is, but uh, uh, the more that they know about this, the more that it, it can also help people with sleep problems as well as all sorts of mental clarity issues that all of us deal with. So it, yeah. it was just interesting. I like these, we find them. Oh, well, that's kind of wild. And so this is part of our long thing as we live through life, stacking up these memories and not just stacking the memories, but taking what you did during the day and sorting it all out. I wonder what they have to say about people who swear that they don't dream and how that affects what the rest of their, because, you know, people are always like, I don't dream. So there are some people who say that and other people are always having very vivid dreams. I wonder if the studies will help us kind of figure out what the difference is between those memories that we have in the morning. Yeah, the sleep scientists will tell you that everybody dreams. You just don't yeah. remember it. If you don't, if you're not dreaming right before, or you don't, you don't have a vivid dream right before you wake up. You don't have the sense that you dreamed all night. And uh, and a lot of people who sleep all through the night who don't wake up. Some people wake up several times a night, depending on a variety of sleep patterns based yeah. on age and 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 other things. Sometimes people who who sleep all the way through the night don't feel like they have dreams. Other people sleep all the way through the night and feel like they were watching movies all night. So yeah, uh, and so, sleep, sleep research is an interesting field of research. It really is. It really is. Yeah. 